Hello Aquarians and Cross Watchers. So today's requested video is about um, who is crushing on you. If someone has a crush on you or a secret admirer or something like that. So anyway, before we get into the reading, I just want you to know that if you have a video request, you can put it in the comment section. I will get to it eventually, but I'm going to do the ones that I get the most requests for, the this, this same topic, and I am not able to do personal readings at the moment, okay? So before I get into the reading, guys, I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you. The divine values you. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Truly appreciate you. All right, the way I cleanse my space is I say a quick prayer um, and then I go on to the reading. If you want to skip all this, I have timestamps in my videos. Our Father in Heaven, I want to thank you for the many blessings you've given to myself and to those who are here. I also want to ask for protection for ourselves and our loved ones to keep us safe from harm. And I would also like to ask that you could please help those who are suffering the most at this time. And please allow me to see what it is I'm allowed to see in this reading so that I can give the highest, most divine messages. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, I was guided to start off with the game of life. I have uh, love oracles, but I was specifically guided to start off with the game of life because the person um, who is crushing on you is most likely quiet about it. You wouldn't know that they're crushing on you unless maybe you've caught them looking or something like that. So, this is like everyday scenarios, and it might show a person in your everyday scenario of someone that you come across who is crushing on you, secretly admires you, or something like that. So, like I said, I was just guided, just was guided to pull this deck out. Not everything that comes out of this deck um, will apply for everyone, but if there is something here that you know a person in that area of life could be crushing on you, just note it could be them. All right, show me what I need to see here. Who is crushing on Aquarius? Who is crushing on Aquarius? Okay. <laughs> Any of you who work in the uh, medical field, got doctors, health, um, surgery, anything, anything in the medical field, somebody in your field or someone who is treating you, might have a crush on you okay might be secretly admiring you we have the card of children here maybe your ex is also crushing on you um maybe there's someone who is fantasized about having children with you okay and it says friends so there might be some friends in your friend circle somebody that is crushing on you that you know you hang out with but you guys are just friends there's not been any thing it hasn't gone beyond friendship um you might be uh, someone at school crushing on you if you're taking a course or something you're studying or learning or even if it's one-on-one -on -one sessions it says learn something new that can be anything you can be learning absolutely anything and you might meet someone in that field and they are crushing on you uh, and then you have a copycat now it's, uh, if there's anyone out here mimicking you copying you they could have a crush on you. So just keep that in mind. Let's we'll see if anything else wants to come out. Who else might be crushing? Okay. All right. So we also have, um, this is a card about organizing. So if there's uh, anybody, let's say if you're in the cleaning business or in the organizing business, um, even if you're a planner, okay, something like that. If you do anything like that, someone in that field could be crushing on you, whether you're working with them or if they're a client of yours. You know, let's say you have a client, if you're in that field of anything that has to do with organizing, organizing, it doesn't matter. Even, you know, you know, what medical transcription, transcriptionists, librarians, people in cleaning industry, doesn't matter. If there's anything that you have to do in your life that involves organizing and there's another person who could be in that space or admiring you, there could be someone who is admiring you. 
secretly crushing on you and you don't even know it. Um, we also have online a male is spying on you. So there's somebody crushing on you, maybe from your profile or any profiles that they see on you. And there's somebody who is cheating or maybe wants to cheat with you. Um, might be cheating with you in the 5D. They're crushing on you. You might not even know this, okay? It's just someone could be crushing on you and uh, literally cheating um, with the thoughts. But they, you know, they could also be cheating, um, trying to cheat, maybe trying to cheat with you. They're crushing on you real bad. You might have somebody, you might be on a new path. It says new path here. You might be on a new path or go on a new path and there's a person you meet who starts crushing on you. But anyway, there's a huge manifestation coming. So if they're, and this person looks like they're sort of like stretching, they're at the ocean. So there could be somebody, if you're in some sort of class or, or yoga or any of that stuff, somebody could be crushing on you. Um, anything if you're even taking a manifestations class just anything like that but if you've been manifesting somebody to like you definitely someone is crushing here and it says you are enough honor your evolution so there's somebody who um it is admiring you and crushing on you and like you're everything to them you would tick off all the boxes then we have um insecurities and balance routines so i think that whoever is crushing is trying to gain the um the strength here because we have two dark cards so somebody for the, for for whoever is crushing and not able to tell you say it to you they have some insecurities and they might be trying to balance that out so that they can literally come forward and say how they're feeling about you now one card flipped down and family issues so there might be somebody you know who's having family issues or someone that um, knows you and you're having family issues and that's a person who could be crushing on you could be a person close to you know the family unit there all right let's get into the tarot let's see what wants to come out for who is crushing on you who is crushing on Aquarius give me one second this is an important call hold on okay so let's get into the tarot and see what wants to come out here who is crushing on you if you don't know by any of these cards remember this is a general reading I had a few people um, request this some through email some through comments but you can make a comment if I've already done the video, um, I'll let you know. And if I haven't, I'll tell you, I'll put it on the list. And what I do is I take a screenshot of the comments with the request, with the video request. Okay. We have the two of wands that talks about travel. All right. I have to clarify these to get more answers for what it is that this reading is looking for. Now there are, um, you might meet someone or you might meet someone while traveling. You might meet someone through friends. It's coming out here. It was also over here. Now there is someone who is just waiting to come in. Okay. They're just waiting to hear the words that you've let go of somebody somebody who might work a lot somebody who might have a lot of burdens or responsibilities somebody who wants to talk to you but they haven't and someone who has uh, been wanting to say something for a long time here all right so two of wands please on who is crushing on aquarius who is crushing on aquarius two of wands fire sign we also had over here um it landed on on children doctors and organization and a male is spying on you it landed literally right here so it landed on all of those cards and we have here scorpio pluto and um transformation with the death and rebirth card and we have the three of cups 
So for some of you, this is a person who um, who you've traveled with or who has brought you back a souvenir, somebody you thought was, you know, like a friend, um, and but they're really thinking of you. They're really kind of crushing on you low-key. They haven't said anything. They haven't, um, you know, they have something with insecurities about that. So for some of you, that is what some people, someone is trying to change here. There is something that they're trying to um, come across to let you know. Maybe, Like I said, maybe you guys travel together or maybe they travel somewhere. Maybe they're from a different part of the world. Maybe they've brought you back a souvenir or they do. But there's something to do with that. Someone is also waiting for something to be let go of, whether in, in their life or your life, and they're going to come rushing in. Tell me about the three of swords reverse. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles. It's in the reverse. It's also a card of Virgo. We have the Knight of Pentacles here at the ending, which is also Virgo. So there's something that is going to, in other words, uh, somebody's going to want to come in. All right. Maybe in your time of need or their time of need, maybe at, at a time of healing. Now, healing can be anything. It doesn't mean you're healing something within someone else, but it could come after, um, you know, their confidence gets up because they could have the, they seem to have the confidence issue. They could be going through a hard time. And when that passes, you know, they're going to come in because it does seem like it's somebody um, who could be going through a hard time who's trying to heal, but somebody who knows you, someone in your friend group. All right. Tell me about the Ace of Swords reverse. This is, I feel you don't know. Okay. You don't know about this. You don't know they're crushing on you. Yeah. You know, you guys could work in some sort of competitive environment. You guys, um, you know, they might see you as a person who's dating or has other people around you and they can't say anything to you. They, You might see them the same way. They have people around them. But there's something here, um, for whatever reason, either because there's people are around or too much chaos or too much is going on that somebody has not been able to either get clarity or say something. But I don't think it's getting clarity. This is who's crushing on you. I think that they don't know how you feel. There's a confidence issue. I think that that has a lot to do with why they don't want to tell you that they have a secret crush on you. Because there's we got the Page of Pentacles reversed, not once but twice. Somebody who wants to really speak to you, um, really wants to come towards you and speak. But it's hard for them. It's also hard for them to speak their emotions, okay? Tell me about the Eight of Swords reverse. Eight of Swords reverse, so. <laughs> and the Hangman. So it's reverse. The Hangman is reverse. Pisces energy. Um, any of the signs that I've mentioned could be the person, but just read the energy, all right? This is. Um, Someone's come to the realization here. I think that they're going to get out of that mindset because the the swords are like a mental prison. Someone who's stuck. And it looks like someone who's been stuck in their own emotions trying to balance that out. And it, in the recent past, it looks like they've said, look, I've wasted enough time. I'm going to stop thinking like this. And I'm going to come out. And that's the next card. The high priestess re reverse. The high priestess upright stays quiet, doesn't say anything, keeps their thoughts and feelings to themselves. It's also a, a card of Virgo Pisces, okay? So let's get into that. Let's see what that wants to say. I feel like someone's going to come out and just say it. Sooner rather than later. Yeah. Someone's already made the decision, okay? They've made the decision. It's taken them a while to realize, hey, I just want to tell Aquarius how I feel. You know? Um, and I know it's been hard. It's been hard because there's something going on, something going on in the family. Sometimes Aquarius might be attached to somebody. Somebody uh, maybe has to do with there's a lot of traveling and there's a lot going on and no one's just really been able to cross paths or something like that. But someone here is going to be in the Knight of Swords energy and coming in real quick as soon as something is let go. Whatever that is, it literally seems it could be a mindset. Letting go of this lack of confidence. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. We have this. We have a lot of cards here. We have the Leo. We have um, the Sun reversed, the Three of Wands in the upright. 
We have the Five of Cups reversed, can uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. We have Aries Leo Sag energy. Again, uh, Scorpio, we have water energy. We can do Scorpio Pisces, Cancer, King of Cups. Somebody has a lot of feelings and emotions for you. It looks like it's someone who is being um, presumed to be as a divine masculine energy. Could be any of the signs that I've named off. And then we have here the Tower in reverse, which is Mars energy. It's Scorpio, Aries. Three of Pentacles, it looks like you guys have worked together, been part of a team effort, or lived in a small community together, and really they're going to reach out. It's someone who is single. They might get single and reach out, or, or you can meet them in traveling. I have a lot of cards about travel. Um, they don't want... They, they want more of you. In other words, it does not look like a person from the past, but a person that if your history is together, you guys have worked together, you guys know each other through a mutual friend and like someone's got an interest, but they don't know how to directly get to you because, you know, it's not directly your friend. It's a friend of a friend type of thing. Um, for some of you, I just heard it can even be somebody who was with one of your friends, but they was into you. That's specific, but they don't want it to be over. Like they feel some sort of connection here, and that's for sure. They don't want this cycle to be over, and they're afraid that the worst would happen. They feel like you guys have something here special or something here uh, more than just a crush because they're doing a lot of thinking for something to be a crush, and maybe that's what they're also trying to figure out too. Maybe that's what's got them confused, and they're looking into it more because they're like, why am I thinking so much about a person if it's just a crush? That doesn't sit well with them. So they want more, okay? We have a fixed energy with the world card, all right? That is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. So tell me about the self-position. The self-position might be like, um, hey, I, can I meet your friend? You know, I do have the Three of Cups, all right? This is... You, them, and another person. You might have met through another person as well, even in the past. Um, we have Sagittarius energy, and we have High Priestess uh, energy again. In the reverse, okay, we have Virgo Pisces energy. So there's something to do. I feel like you have randomly met or seen this person only when they was around a friend or another person. It was Whenever you would see this person, there was always another person around. But the thing is, is they want to see you on a more consistent basis. They just don't want to randomly see you when you're in a work environment around friends or when you're in um, hanging out or going out with friends. They want to see you on a more consistent basis. They might ask a friend about you. You know, um, they might. So there's something there because they're really thinking, man, this might have the potential to go to relationship. But the thing is, I don't know. We haven't really spoken. So that they might even be another Aquarius. Um, someone might think that you're the type of person that they could even marry. All right. We have we have Venus energy, but we also have Venus um, acting out, not acting out, but acting in Aquarius. So someone might come forward um, during this Venus that's um, working in Aquarius. You can check that out online and they might literally come out and make it known during that time. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Two of Cups on the bottom. We have the Magician Reverse and the Ace of Swords Reverse. So somebody is really burdened with the fact before they come in and say what they're going to say or before they ask your friend or co-worker or whatever to kind of hook you guys up or a neighbor because the Three of Pentacles can be a small community. It can be someone you know and there's like a neighbor or someone who lives in the community and, and they've taken interest in you. But however this, however this plays out, before somebody really does uh, commit to asking this person, because Ace of Swords is reversed, Magician is reversed, they want to make sure it's clear because um, it's a big responsibility to just come in and, you know, ask the friend or ask the person and then a big responsibility to want to be or see or get to know you more. And then it's like, you know, they don't really know you. So it's like, what happens? So they're thinking about that. It's, it's a big responsibility. What happens? Or if this is a friend and they want to go further, it's like, well, what happens? Will I lose my friend? If, you know, they're like, they're really burdened by that. It's a big responsibility for them. It really is. They, they're looking at it seriously here. But again, they can't really let it go. They're in their feelings a lot. 
we have Pisces energy and Cancer energy with the moon, and we have the Page of Pentacles reversed. So tell me about that. Yeah, Ten of Cups reversed. It's one of those scenarios, it's like if I never talk to Aquarius, if I never ask uh, to see them, whether it's through a friend or a work situation or if we live in the same community, like if, like I'm not going to know if I don't say anything because I really feel Aquarius doesn't know because like a crush, you don't tell the crush until you're ready to tell the crush until you want more with the crush. And this is someone who's like, I'll never know if we could be this. I'll never know. If I keep my feelings a secret, if I never speak up and I don't have that conversation, I'm never going to know. So somebody's looking at it like it's taken them a while. <laughs> they really want to go on a date with you. They're really stuck. Okay, I feel they're stuck with the Eight of Swords. They're stuck in their mind. They're stuck on some sort of confidence level. Maybe there is even an age difference. Okay, but their feelings are mature. Or maybe you're with somebody, like I said, you know, <laughs> maybe they're crushing on you and maybe um they think you're with somebody even like i said they don't know enough about you but they know you they know enough that they want to you know go further and we do have the king of pentacles here this is a person who like from whatever they see you're completely their type and um maybe they see that uh you've been through a lot and you've overcome a lot of things and they like that about you but like i said they're just kind of sitting there but this is a person who's sitting there because i really think they're contemplating you know can i go all the way here with aquarius can i cross the finish line with aquarius um because before i ask i really want to know and this person you know there's nothing deceptive behind this everything's going to be on the table when this person comes through seven of seven of swords is reverse Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. More Pentacle energy, Seven of Pentacles. It's taken this person a long time, uh, maybe to even want to uh, invest or commit. But this is this is someone who's looking at it like it's enough is enough. I've waited long enough. I'm never going to know if I don't come out and express my feelings. And now I am the Seven of Pentacles reverse. I don't want to waste any more time. I've wasted enough time. So. Someone is about ready to give their pitch here. They might even <laughs> they might even be researching uh, a way to give their pitch. Okay, what to say, how to come in, how to be successful with you. I don't know because we do have that page of swords, and we do have that nine of swords. Or maybe you have a a, a kid or something like that, and they're not sure uh, how to approach you if you have that going on. But more often than not, it's they're trying to figure it out what to say. That's what I feel, trying to figure it out what to say. All right, let's close out with a bonus card. Let's see what wants to come out here for the bonus card. I hope that uh, this reading resonates. Leave a comment if you have a video request. Open up your spiritual gifts. Remember that your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth. So... Uh, be open to the messages, the downloads that can come in, the things that you might see in nature. Be receptive and be open to that. Okay, guys, I love you. I'll see you in your next video. And namaste, my friends.